Another five-minute mystery. gate to the great new cross-country speedway, a sporty red convertible pauses. How much, bud? Buck fifty to the next gate. Hey, what's the trouble with your friend there in the back seat, all bandaged up that way? Accident. Oh, that's too bad. Well, good luck. Hey, take it easy about two miles ahead. Repairs. Okay, I'll watch it. The convertible travels fast. Two miles farther on, they round a slight curve. The temporary fences around the road repair work loom close ahead. There is a sudden shout from a man at the side of the highway. Hey, look out! Joe, did you see that? One of them guys fell out of the back seat. Let's get over there, quick! So, Mr. Bryant, you say you weren't aware of the construction sign. Not until I was right on top of him, Sheriff. Ask Al here. He was in the back seat with Johnny. Did we see him, Al? Didn't the toll gate keeper warn you about that spot? Well, the signs are moved for just a couple of minutes, Sheriff. Brad and I was out there to warn the cars to slow down. Now, this guy came along so fast, though, we didn't get a chance. You realize, of course, Mr. Bryant, that this is a very serious matter. The third person in your car, John Albertson, was killed instantly when he fell from the back seat. The toll gatekeeper reports that he was already the victim of an accident, was bound up in bandages. I know, Sheriff. I shouldn't have driven so fast. I I don't know what to say. Hmm. Well, let's hear your story, Joe. Yeah, it was this way, Sheriff. Brad and I were standing alongside the highway, like I said, and all of a sudden this red convertible comes racing along, doing, oh, at least 85 around the curve. I see. Well, go on. Well, the two guys in the back seat, this big man Al here and the other guy, they were sitting there with their heads down. When the brakes went on, they raised up. John, the bandaged one that fell out the back, he, he must have lost his grip, I guess. He just flew right out the back when the car stopped. He... Flew out the back, eh? Hey, Sheriff, can we go now? I'll come back later if you want, but I feel pretty bad about this. I think I could use some rest. Rest? Sure, Mr. Bryant, you'll get plenty of rest. Right here in the county jail. Uh, I'm holding you for the murder of John Albertson. What reason did the Sheriff have for believing that John Albertson was murdered? In just a moment, we'll find out, but first... Five-minute mystery and the murder of John Albertson. Murder? What are you talking about, Sheriff? There wasn't any murder. It was murder, all right. And you and Al here collaborated on it. You see, Bryant, when a moving vehicle stops suddenly, the passengers in it are thrown forward, not backward. If Albertson lost his grip, he would have been thrown into the front seat, not back onto the highway. You're having him all bandaged up like that just made it easier for Al to throw him out. You see, Bryant, this time it was natural law that threw you into the hands of social law. <laughs> Say, that's not a bad line. 